And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God bless every one of you that are under the sound of my voice. We certainly appreciate you. And you are on God's mind. Why, someone would ask. Because we are the creation of the Father. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. But then something happened. As the creation remained, there was an onslaught of that which was not pleasing in the sight of God. And so that form of earth and all of its inhabitants were destroyed. Then there was a re- doing in the redoing God created man and we know the story there was a repeat where man also 99 and 99 hundreds of people were destroyed there was a family that was salvaged And through that family, the earth was replenished. And here we are. God vowed that the earth would not be destroyed again by water. And then a plan was devised. And there was a person who stepped up. The person declared, lo, L-O. An announcement was made. I come in the volume of the book, Seth, the Son of God. I delight to be and to do thy will, O God. I delight to do thy will, O God. The will of God was that eventually there had to be a sacrifice made because of the decision of his creation, man, to follow the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, and the lust of the eye. The plan became God's way. And that his son would come and to give his life. A blood sacrifice. Jesus became that sacrifice. That the creation of God would be able to go on. And then as men multiplied on the face of the earth the eternal plan of God began to be revealed. And it was revealed that from generation to generation, people would arise, leaders would arise, and they would devour each other. It was prophesied that one of the leaders would arise in time and become a world leader, meaning the whole world would go after that leader. The civilized world has experienced world leadership, but the earth before the time which is to come has never experienced one person ruling the whole world but it is going to happen 
Now we're in preparation. The world is, I should say, the earth realm is in preparation for that. Everything, the different systems, the economic system, political system, all of these things are headed toward one person ruling the earth. And eventually that will happen. But there is something else that is going on. There is a movement. The kingdom of God is being strengthened. And God is exalting himself in the earth through those who have chosen to follow him and his way. Now Jesus plainly said he is the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But within the plan of God, God calls the way, the truth, and the life to be, first of all, to be made flesh and to dwell among men, and that is in the person of Jesus Christ. But the abilities of God had already come forth where man would write. And there were different times that the Lord spoke to the prophets to write. Write the word. So in time, the book was written Preserved. Now we have the Bible, the book, which consists of much of the Word of God that is for man to follow. And we want to be reminded that the Word that God spoke became a person, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The miracle of God. The word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. Even as the only begotten of the father. Full of grace and truth. That word is a plan. The first plan. That is. The foundation of God's plan. Is male and female the giver of seed, the receiver of seed, that there would be inhabitants in the earth. Now to, uh, maybe to the disagreement of some, there will always be people on the earth. Since Jesus has come and paid the price, But somebody wants to know, well, what about when God destroys the earth? God is able to destroy that which is evil and to preserve that which is good. And this is what God has in his mind, to destroy that which is evil. Laser is light. Light can destroy something that is hindering sight without destroying the eye. And this is what God is going to do. He's going to use the light of the word to destroy that which is evil and to preserve that, protect that which is good. And in the new earth, there will be people that have been preserved who lived through the judgment and became those who would inhabit the earth along with those who will be rulers in the earth. That's God's plan. And there will always be the seed sower and the seed receiver. 
And the plan includes healing. Because there are people that will get sick who will not have on immortality. Yes, the leaves of the tree will be for the healing of the nations. There will be nations just as they are now. And the plan is that they will be able to be eternally on the earth as they eat what they need from the leaves of the trees. Well, that's God's plan. But there is another plan which God is not pleased with and we shall overcome that plan. Jesus has made it possible through his power. Jesus said, in my name shall you cast out devils. And one of the devils that's against God's plan is eugenics. So therefore, we thank God for the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed for the remission of sin. And God will always have a people. I'm inviting you to become one of those if you have not yet submitted yourself to be a person that will walk in the favor of God. To walk in his love. To know his love. You have need only to repent. And believe the gospel. For the kingdom of heaven. Is built on. The love of God. For God so loved. The world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish. But have everlasting life. If you want this love. This of God. To be in your life. And for you to be a part of his love circle, which are the believers and the followers of Jesus Christ. Repent now and believe the gospel. Ask God to forgive you of sin and make you the way he wants you to be, a new creature. We're going to pray. God, in the name of Jesus. I lose your power on hearers today. Those who will receive this word by faith. Indeed, let the spirit of God envelop their hearts to bring them unto yourself. And we will praise you for the victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, beloved, thank God for Jesus. Inviting you to come again and to receive the word of God. God bless you.